what you want to do is you want to download a repository from GitHub. This contains a resource pack from Microsoft. It's an old one which no longer is available by Microsoft, but luckily someone has backed it up and uploaded it to GitHub. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this as a zip. Let the server download it. Once the server has it down fully downloaded, what we will do is we will open it and extract it to whichever location you want. Could be on a C drive, could be on a desktop. Once it's downloaded, we will extract it. We're going to open that directory. What you want to do is you want to create a command prompt or a CMD to search for it. Right click and run as administrator. It will prompt for a user account control. Click yes. After opening a administrator command prompt, what you want to do is you want to click this top bar, copy the directory, and type in cd space and right click to paste that directory. Once in that directory, what you want to do is you want to launch this application right here, instsrv, which I'm just going to copy the name to make it easier for me. And what you want to do is you want to create a name for the service, which for us we're going to call it 5m server 2 because we already have a server on here already after that you want to name a dummy file which the dummy file is going to be this file right here SRV any so to define this what we're going to do is we're going to copy the directory which you can highlight this right click the copy right click paste add a backslash and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this so I can copy a whole file name and to show the .exe parts, make sure that this second toggle right here under view is toggled. Right click to paste. After filling in all that information, click enter and it will say service has been added. You want to do registry edit editor or reg edit to search for it. Click yes. Once in here, what you want to do is you want to go into this path in registry. HKey local machine system control set one services and these services are all alphabetical you want to scroll down till you find the name of the service you created for us it's 5m server 2 and i'm going to take our previous server as an example to copy and paste what we did on our previous server just copy and paste the names as shown here so we want to create a parameter file to create that we want to create a new key value and name it parameters and in the parameters, we want to create a string, which will be named application. So right click in this box, new, string value, name it application. And for the application, you want to double click it, it'll bring up this box. And for the value, what you want to do is you want to go to the directory where your 5M server is installed. So for us, it's in C, 5M server, IAG server one. What you want to do is you want to copy this bat file right here. If you don't have this bat file, make sure you ran your server once and gone through the validation and initial setup. After that, you want to copy the directory it's in, paste the directory, copy the name of the file, add a backslash, paste in a name, click OK, and that's done. Now what you want to do is you want to open services. In services, you want to find 5M. Easy way of doing it is you want to just type in 5M like that, and it'll automatically direct you to the location. Go to properties, make sure that the startup type is automatic. If it's not set to automatic, then every server restart is not gonna start up automatically. After that, you have two options of starting this service. You can either restart the server, or you can start the service. Another thing I would recommend for anyone that's running a 5M server, just for extra layers, security in case something happens like I don't know unwanted code being executed uh, instead of giving it system level access what I would do is I would create a user which if you don't know it can you can create it through like for example control panel you can go into accounts go into here and then what you can do is you want to uh, manage other accounts then you can add a user then you can fill in the information and create a user at any point, if you have any issues with the service, uh, you can follow the steps that I've shown previously. 
uh, but before following those steps, I would recommend is deleting the service. To delete the service, what you want to do is you want to open a administrator command prompt as shown previously by typing CMD, right clicking and run as administrator. Once open, you want to run the following command. It can be run from anywhere. What you want to do is you want to type SC space delete space. And if your name was in with spaces, for example, in the example we did spaces, what you want to do is you want to add a quote. Then you want to type it in, which I just copy and pasting, which is copy and paste as stated previously. You right click in the command prompt, end quote it, and then hit enter, and that will delete the service.